Hello chess lovers, I have a very impressive chess miniature for you, played by the 4th world chess champion Alexander Alyokhin. His opponent is Peter Potemkin and the game was played in 1912 in St. Petersburg. Potemkin had white pieces and he started with e4, c5 by Alyokhin, Sicilian defense and g3. White goes for Steinitz variation or this line is also called Lasker Dune attack. g6, bishop g2, bishop g7, knight e2, knight c6, c3. White is preparing to establish a strong center, knight f6 and knight a3. Looks a bit strange, well, d4 would have been more logical, but instead after knight f6 we see knight a3. And now Alyokhin himself pushes the d pawn d5. He takes d5, knight takes d5, knight c2, black castles kingside and finally white plays d4. c takes d4, c takes d4 bishop g4 and f3 which is weakening white's king side. Actually castling king side would have been better. Later white can play either knight e3 or h3 kicking away the bishop but after bishop g4 we see f3. Bishop f5, knight e3 and queen a5 check and already white is facing some problems. King f2. Well, instead of playing king f2, if a move like bishop d2, then white can lose a piece after knight takes e3. If bishop takes a5, then knight takes d1, and in the end of the day, black is simply a piece up. That's why after queen a5 check, we see king f2. Now comes the knight, knight b4 threatening, knight d3 check occupying this mighty square. And white captures on f5, getting rid of the bishop. Queen takes f5, still black wants to play knight d3 check, g4, another strange move which is weakening white's king side too much. White is trying to kick away the queen, but actually this queen is not even thinking of moving away, we see knight d3 check. King g3, well actually king g1 would have been better though after queen b5 still protecting the knight on d3 square, black has an advantage. If we have a look at white's king side, these pieces actually stand very awkwardly. Let's go back, after knight d3 check we see king g3, still as you can see the queen is under attack but instead of moving away his queen, Alyokhin played a mind blowing move, can you find his next move? Ready? He just captured this free pawn on d4 square, look at this, sacrificing the queen. And believe it or not, but white accepted the sacrifice, g takes f5, which is losing on the spot. Well, knight takes d4 could have prolonged the game, though after queen e5 check and then queen takes d4, still black has an advantage, an extra pawn and white's king is exposed, this is just a winning position. Let's go back, but after knight takes d4 we see g takes f5. And now Alyokhin's cavalry is starting a mighty attack. We first see knight takes f5 check and after king g4 we see h5 check. King h3 and believe it or not, but after knight f2 this is a checkmate. Look at this mighty horses killing the enemy king. This was truly a great queen sacrifice. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions, do not hesitate to leave your comments. I hope that you enjoyed this final mating combination. Good luck.